Hello everyone, um, it's Emmy and the Girl Scouts here, and, um, I kind of have a new cage set up, so I thought I would update you. Oh, you're being vocal, honey, huh? But the girls just figured we'd update you, I guess. So, I guess the biggest change, really, is now I have a kitchen area. And I decided I didn't know if I would like it or not, so I didn't want to spend, like, you know, so much money on a kitchen area and do that, um, until I figured if I was gonna like it, it's gonna be easier, you know, all that stuff. So I, um, so I decided to just cut and score a chloroplast sign, literally just use duct tape to keep it, because I didn't know. And it's my first full day trying it out. And right now, I really do like it. Um, I find that the girls don't poop in the hay bag now. So, I mean, that's a nice thing. And they don't climb in it to eat. Now, the thing is, the way my cage is set up, I couldn't keep the um, water in there. Because, you know, it's just not enough room in that kitchen area. So the water is right here, and kind of better for them anyway, that it's there, because otherwise they'd just get bedding and hay in it. So, I mean, that's the biggest change, and so far I like it, um, they seem to like it. I mean, Samoa came from Carefresh bedding, and Shortbread came from Aspen, so it seems that they like it. I mean, it's cute. I mean, the only problem with not having a little front is that they like to kick the stuff they kick it when they run back and forth to and from so I kind of keep it up here but I assume when I get a bigger one it'll work so another change is um I now have a new stand I use one of my dressers and I keep all of their stuff to the side and I keep their fleece and towels back there um with a grid so my dogs can't get to it um that's pretty cool, and I have some stands back there, um, to keep the cage up from falling and stuff. Now, I decided to, now I decided to keep both tunnels in for this theme, mainly because, you know, two tunnels, two guinea pigs that like to sleep in tunnels, you know, just something that I did. And so, I have one tunnel, which is Shortbread's favorite tunnel. She likes to do laps around the cage. Um, so she has that, that she can run around, move everything, and run, and run through a tunnel. Oh, it's your baby popcorn -ing. Oh, there's a piece of bedding in there. But, so that's what I did, and then with this, this was just something that I did, like, literally just now. I put the end of the tunnel into this snuggle stack. To see if they like it, they do. I, I mean, the minute I did that, they wanted to explore. So, and then I have this. This is what I call their willow corner. Because at the end of the day, like, when I wake up, all their willow seems to be in this area anyway. So, and then they like to roll it around like, like this. And pick up the sticks, I guess, because it's they're always in different spots when I check. And then I have their little teepee. So those are pretty much my updates. Oops. So um, I just got in new financial standing. So eventually I'll be able to get a little liner, some new stuff, some more stuff. So basically they don't have just tubes and hideys and. They have more stuff, and I do plan on expanding the cage and getting a closable top. Hi, baby. Oh, Samoa's going to explore. Shortbread's right in the camera. But, um, you don't have to have all those different nice tidies and stuff. You just have to have safe hideys, safe cozy, safe toys. And so what if you only have two different cage setups for when you clean and stuff? Who cares? Oh. Um, as long as your guinea pigs are happy and your guinea pigs like it, that's all that matters.
and as long as you're taking the proper care and cleaning them, you know, that's all that really matters. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to go. Bye-bye, Samoa. Oh, no, she's going to scratch instead. Bye-bye.